Lauren Rissman's dad called. He said we should have a car wash every weekend. In today's video, we will discuss the best romantic comedies of 2011. Before we get started, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and thank you for watching. Never be able to communicate it to you unless I had taken a class like this. At number 15 we have Larry Crown directed by Tom Hanks, starring Tom Hanks and Julia Roberts. Meet Larry Crown, a middle-aged guy who loses his job and decides to reinvent his life. In a twist of fate, he enrolls in college, aiming for a fresh start. There, he befriends a quirky group of students and finds an unexpected mentor in his public speaking class Mercedes Tainet, portrayed by Julia Roberts, a disenchanted teacher with her own set of challenges. As Larry navigates the ups and downs of campus life, the film unfolds into a heartwarming journey about second chances, self-discovery, and the surprising connections that can change our lives. You are way cooler than you appear. I can't really afford all these new threads. It is gratis. Take off your pants. My boyfriend's here. Tom Hanks not only stars in this feel-good comedy, but also directed this tale of resilience and the pursuit of happiness. It's a charming story that proves it's never too late to chase your dreams and find a new chapter in life. Something Borrowed Life without him is unimaginable. Rachel, you deserve to be happy. You need to get back here right now. No. At 14, we have Something Borrowed, directed by Luke Greenfield and starring Jennifer Goodwin and Kate Hudson. The story revolves around Rachel, played by Jennifer Goodwin, who's always played by the rules. But when her best friend Dassey, Kate Hudson, gets engaged to the guy Rachel has secretly had a crush on, everything takes a wild turn. As the wedding preparations kick into gear, Rachel finds herself in a tangled mess of emotions and unexpected romantic entanglements. With humor, heart, and a touch of romance. <laughs> and charming. How about when all of this is over? Dex buys celebratory dinner. He was just... Something Borrowed serves up a relatable and entertaining story about love and the choices we make. Bad Teacher Lauren Rissman's dad called. He said we should have a car wash every weekend. At 13, we have Bad Teacher, a hilarious comedy directed by Jake Kasten and featuring Cameron Diaz in the lead role. Diaz plays Elizabeth Halsey, a foul-mouthed, gold-digging middle school teacher with a singular goal to find a wealthy man to marry and fund her lavish lifestyle. Unconventional and downright lazy, Elizabeth is more interested in chasing her next chigger daddy than actually teaching her students. However, her plans take an unexpected turn when a new, charming substitute teacher, played by Justin Timberlake, catches her eye, filled with inappropriate humor and unexpected twists. So did you and your wife just move to town? I'm not married. I actually just got out of a relationship. She has such a big heart. Enormous. Bad Teacher is a laugh-out-loud journey through the not-so-ordinary life of an educator who's anything but textbook. The Artist At 12, we have The Artist, directed by Mitchell Hazanavicious. Set in the silent film era, the movie follows the charming and successful silent movie star George Valentin, played by Jean Dujardin. George's world turns upside down with the advent of talkies, a new Aryan filmmaking that threatens to render him obsolete. As George faces career decline, he meets Pepe Miller, played by Baroness Bayo, an aspiring actress whose star is on the rise. The artist beautifully captures their unique journey, showcasing the transition from silence to sound and the enduring power of friendship and love. With a nod to classic Hollywood, this black and white silent film is a heartfelt and visually stunning experience that transcends language, proving that sometimes actions and emotions speak louder than words. The Best Exotic Marigold Hotel The light, colors, smiles, all life is here. Do you think we'll be all right? It's going to be extraordinary. At 11, we have The Best Exotic Marigold Hotel, directed by John Madden and featuring an ensemble cast. A group of British retirees, each with their own reasons and stories, 
decides to spend their golden years at the seemingly luxurious but somewhat rundown Marigold Hotel in India. As they arrive, the hotel turns out to be not quite what they expected, and the cultural differences present both challenges and opportunities. My name's Norman. You're very fit. Beg your pardon? Oh, God. Look at us! A group of self-deluding old fossils traipsing around as if we're on some bloody gap year. The film beautifully unfolds the characters' journeys of self-discovery, friendship, and the pursuit of happiness against the vibrant backdrop of Jiper. No strings attached. You are such an overachiever. Thank you. At 10, we have No Strings Attached, directed by Ivan Reitman and starring Natalie Portman and Ashton Kutcher. This story follows Emma and Adam, who decide to embark on a No Strings Attached, purely physical relationship to avoid the complications of love. As they maneuver through the challenges of keeping things casual, the lines between friendship and romance blur. Establish ground rules. No lying. No jealousy. Don't list me as your emergency contact. I won't call. Don't ask me what I think about your body. Deal. The film explores whether it's possible to separate emotions from physical intimacy and whether true connections can exist without commitment. With humor, heart, and a dose of reality, No Strings Attached takes a light-hearted approach to the complexities of modern relationships. The change up. She comes at me like a hurricane. A guy can only withstand so much. I am gonna ruin her. At nine, we have the change up, directed by David Dobkin and starring Ryan Reynolds and Jason Bateman. Dave and Mitch, longtime friends with different lifestyles, magically swap bodies after a night of heavy partying. Dave, a responsible family man, finds himself stuck in the carefree, single life of Mitch a struggling actor. Meanwhile, Mitch has to figure out the challenges of Dave's demanding career and family responsibilities as they grapple with their swap lives. Mitch, why am I in your apartment? Open the door! The two friends learn valuable lessons about understanding and appreciating each other's points of view. Bridesmaids, we're going to take this huge step, and I'm going to be there right next to you. Lillian! Sorry. You should come to Lillian's wedding. At 8, we have Bridesmaids, directed by Paul Feig and starring Kristen Wiig. Meet Annie, a down-on-her-luck baker whose life takes an unexpected turn when her best friend, Lillian, asks her to be the maid of honor for her wedding. As Annie tries to figure out the world of bridal parties and deals with the challenges of competitive bridesmaids, chaos erupts. From disastrous dress fittings to questionable bachelorette parties. The film unfolds into a riotous comedy that shows the ups and downs of friendship, love, and the craziness of wedding planning. Friends with benefits. Get down now. Get down. I have a beer of heights. Why would you come up here? You call me a pussy. At seven. We have Friends with Benefits, directed by Will Gluck and starring Justin Timberlake and Mila Kunis, Jamie and Dylan, two friends who decide to add a casual twist to their relationship by exploring the perks of being more than just buddies. As they embark on a no-strings-attached arrangement, they soon find out that navigating the blurred lines between friendship and romance isn't as simple as it seems. True love. Shut up, Katherine Heigl, you stupid liar! I think I messed it up. It seems you're really into this guy. Do you want some motherly love advice? The film takes us on a roller coaster ride of laughter, awkward moments, and unexpected emotions as Jamie and Dylan grapple with the complexities of mixing friendship with physical intimacy. 50 by 50. You really think that a girl's gonna go for me just because I have cancer? For the millionth time, yes! At six, we have 50 by 50, directed by Jonathan Levine and featuring Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Seth Rogen. Meet Adam, a young man in his 20s whose life takes an unexpected turn when he's diagnosed with cancer. The film takes us on a journey through the highs and lows of his experience, navigating the challenges of treatment, relationships, and the unpredictable roller coaster of emotions that come with a serious illness. With the support of his best friend, Kyle, who tries to lighten the mood with humor. It's what everybody's been saying. You'll feel better and don't worry, and this is all fine, and like, it's not. You can't change your situation. Adam confronts the realities of his situation with both courage and vulnerability. One day, Missed you, Dex. 
I screwed up my career. I screwed up my friendships. That's not true. We Have One Day, directed by Lone Scherfig and starring Anne Hathaway and Jim Sturgis. The film follows Emma and Dexter, who meet on the day of their graduation and form a deep connection. Over the next 20 years, we get a snapshot of their lives on the same day July 15th, as they go through careers, relationships, and personal growth. One Day is a touching exploration of friendship and the ups and downs of timing in our lives, with heartfelt performances and a relatable storyline. Come tonight, Lord Lockin! Nice new flat, group sex Tuesdays and Fridays. Yeah, but you know, I am crying on the inside. The movie captures the essence of the passage of time and the impact of pivotal moments on our lives. What's your number? I know that I'm not perfect. <laughs> and I want to be with somebody who appreciates me. Barrett? It's Allie! Oh, doesn't ring a bell. At four, we have What's Your Number? a romantic comedy directed by Mark Mylod and starring Anna Ferris and Chris Evans. Meet a lie darling, a woman who, after reading a magazine article, becomes convinced that she's had too many relationships. Worried that she's missed her chance at true love, Eli decides to find out if any of her ex-boyfriends are worth getting back together with. In her quest, she gets help from her neighbor, Colin, played by Chris Evans. As Eli revisits past relationships, funny moments happen, and unexpected discoveries are made about love, friendship, and the importance of being true to oneself. You go to my sister's wedding alone. I'll go with you. You would do that? Yeah. Sometimes you can't live life by the numbers. You have to figure it out as you go along. What's Your Number is a light-hearted and relatable comedy that explores the journey to find love while embracing one's own quirks and imperfections. Just go with it. Hi. At three, we have Just Go With It, a comedy directed by Dennis Degan and featuring Adam Sandler and Jennifer Aniston. Meet Day, a plastic surgeon who pretends to be unhappily married to score dates. His life takes a comedic twist when he asks his loyal assistant, Catherine, to pose as his soon-to-be divorced ex-wife. The tangled web of lies becomes even more complex when they all end up on a family trip to Hawaii. Along the way, unexpected relationships form, secrets unravel. I want to create the illusion I had a hot first wife, not you know this. It's... Okay, come on, let's go. Is that her? And the sunny beaches of Hawaii become the backdrop for a hilarious and heartwarming tale of love and second chances. Midnight in Paris. So dressed up. I was just doing a little writing. You dress up and put on cologne to write? Because you know how I think better in the shower. At two, we have Midnight in Paris, a whimsical film directed by Woody Allen. This story follows Gil, a nostalgic writer visiting Paris with his fiancée and her family. Gil, who dreams of living in Paris during the 1920s, mysteriously finds himself transported back in time each night at midnight. Amidst the glamour of the past, he encounters iconic figures. As Gil explores this enchanted version of Paris, he grapples with the choice between his idealized past and his present reality. Arrested? No, 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 no. Sure. I, I, I don't want to be a killjoy, but I, I, I need to get a little fresh air. Midnight in Paris is a charming and fantastical tale that invites audiences to ponder the magic of nostalgia. Crazy, stupid, love. When I stopped being us, you know, when I told you that I had to work late, I really went to see the new Twilight movie by myself. And it was so bad. At the top of our list, we have Asterix Asterix Crazy, Stupid, Love. Asterix Asterix, a romantic comedy directed by Glenn Ficarra and John Requa, starring Steve Carell, Ryan Gosling, and Julianne Moore. Cal Weaver, a middle-aged man whose life takes a hilarious turn when his wife, Emily, asks for a divorce. Determined to navigate the single life, Cal seeks the help of Jacob Palmer, a suave ladies' man played by Ryan Gosling. Jacob becomes Cal's mentor in the art of dating, leading to comical and heartwarming moments. As Cal rediscovers himself, and Jacob unexpectedly falls for someone special. What do you want to do with me? I want to show you off to my ex-wife, Miguel. The film weaves a tale of love, laughter, and the unpredictable nature of romance. A crazy, stupid, love is a feel-good journey that reminds us that love can be messy, unpredictable, and at times, downright cr That's it guys. If you like this video, kindly give it a thumbs up, and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.